Hello, hello dear Capricorn, how are you all? Welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking and I'm doing your October general and love reading. I will be extending this reading uh, through the links beneath the video. Thank you for your support through Patreon. Um, if you're not on Patreon, you can always purchase a one-off through my website. So as I said, those links are beneath the video. So calling upon my guides concerning Capricorn in the month of October of 2021, general and in love. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and your North Node, if you are familiar with your North Node in your own personal chart, what is the trajectory, which sign is your North Node in? Maybe you can watch that video, it may resonate for your future path. So Capricorn, please spirit, October, we have the Hermit. So some of you are either dealing with another Virgo or you've been the Hermit at this point. Dear Capricorn, your life has been going through many, many changes through a very slow process. Now, I know it hasn't been easy for you. This maybe has um, triggered for many of you. You've grown more spiritual. Um, Pluto transiting through your sign has um, really shaken your core. And you're still, you're like that, uh, you know, that butterfly that comes out of the cocoon. You're still going through that. But this does speak to also seeing the light going within. We've just come out of the Virgo season. So something's been, it's been very quiet. Someone's been behind the scenes doing the work. And this can speak to health as well. At your foundation is the strength card. So we've got Virgo, Virgo and Leo. So you may be dealing with someone that's on the cusp, actually. The strength card being at the root of the reading. Um, it has asked you, spirit has asked you, life has asked you to be courageous, to, um, I mean, the strength card does speak to a sense of needing to hold back, to control. Maybe you've been in a relationship where there's been too much control Remember, Leo can speak to um, leadership, right? Virgo is more about doing the work behind the scenes. Leo is taking charge. Um, well, Leo takes the light. Virgo is doing the work behind the scenes. So I don't know what you're creating. You've had to be very strong, creating on uh, multiple levels. And this could be also um something connected to uh, spirituality. Uh, Virgo is practical, but also across from it is Pisces. So it does speak to practical and spiritual uh, well-being as well. Some of you have had to wait, be patient. That's what the strength card speaks to. And know that you've got everything under control. Unless you're being controlled by someone else, um, which has triggered you. Recent past, Ten of Pentacles, so something which can speak to abundance, um, something, again, based in reality. Pentacles, right, the element of Earth, speaks to one's stability, their livelihood, their security. Ten of Pentacles can also speak to family, finances, um, support from others, family members, a family situation. Now, as you know, I'm not reading reversals, so I feel that that uh, card here would probably be in the reverse. Where well, you've had to stand strong on your own and offend for something, tend to something, provide a service take leadership, what's on your mind? The Three of Pentacles, so you're trying to build on something. Three of Pentacles is expansion and growth, but something here, you could see they're falling off the ladder. So as you were climbing that ladder, something happened here, and this can speak to collaboration 
or a breaking of collaboration because this can also speak to an ending of a chapter and 13 13 pentacles that's the scorpio energy which is pluto so something came to a point of success let's say here but uh, there's been you've been triggered for whatever reason something was challenging for you um now the three of pentacles can speak to again an initial stage of success but it also speaks to many challenges in this deck the cosmic tarot that i'm using what's the potential outcome we've got the eight of cups so something that you're hoping to build on it's like you've been given another another slap from spirit and saying no you're going to build elsewhere um you're barking up the wrong tree and i feel that that's probably why you've gone within your soul searching you're searching for your way forward because eight of cups means i'm leaving something that did not i could not find the total happiness in this could speak to endings here ten of pentacles the ending of a family the ending of a situation a chapter and i feel a sense of humbling here too going from leo to virgo what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the seven of wands so you feel as though you've been up against a lot seven of wands um shows that you've been successful to a certain point but here everything and everyone is coming at you you're needing to fend for yourself you are conflicted about moving on from a situation or i mean this is also spiritual growth some of you have even are even thinking of taking a journey uh, it could be a spiritually inclined journey and that could be a, an emotional journey metaphorical as well as um, physical let's see what's going on in the fortune telling cards we've got the journey wow and this does speak to an abundant journey it could speak to uh it is concerning finances and riches pluto in your sign also speaks to riches um pluto can speak to power but it can also speak to transformation uh it's a 10 which speaks to an ending and a restart a sense of a new beginning uh, we've got the message here so you're waiting on news before you start on that journey you're waiting on communication there's conflict concerning communication whether someone's going to communicate with you about this journey and as i said this could also be a physical journey but uh, this could also speak to uh, moving uh, practical moving so moving to another home ending a situation a chapter in a certain area this could also speak to changes with uh, your livelihood and work uh, con pertaining to work and we've got the mature man now the mature man does speak to someone who's gone through their lessons could be someone that's matured um, through their experiences of life could also speak to someone that's uh, the elder the wiser the hermit could also be an advisor uh, you could be waiting on news from someone that you are uh, receiving advice from uh, guidance as well this is a number five which does speak to the hierophant so taurian energy taurus taurus does speak to venusian matters money the physical body again it does ring virgo virgo and taurus now the sun's been going recently through virgo so it's been in beautiful um you know a communication with the taurian energy but uranus is there which does speak to stress a stressful situation or things being unrooted suddenly unexpectedly but there's help there as well remember we've got a five here and five speak to changes after conflict and we've got the main male so for some of you this could be father and son this could also speak to someone um, that's just gone through uh, a maturing process someone who's guided also from an elder a wiser could also be someone who is very religious or spiritual that they're receiving the advice from 
We've got the death card here. So you have been, see, Pluto has been challenging you for changes, concerning changes. Let's um, let's take the Karma Dharma, see what's going on in your Karma Dharma. I want you to also, and I'm going to take another layer, of course, of cards, but the tarot, I want you to start thinking of what is the question that you're wanting to ask spirit. I'm going to take from the spirit... Uh, messages from the angels so Capricorn please spirit the angel answers that's what the deck is called what's going on in the month of October for Capricorn what is Capricorn dealing with October of 2021 and we have temperance and this is obviously this is Archangel Michael um, said it speaks to Sagittarian energy um, balance healing patience again again it's asking for patience maybe you've been very very patient maybe someone's been very patient with you and your transformation because obviously you're going through uh, major changes in your life What's beneath the death card? We've got the chariot. So you see, this is movement. Two major arcana. Moving house, putting an end to something where there was conflict. You were, you felt as though seven, seven, right? Seven does speak to conflict. Um, trying to get those, you know, your yourself in a forward momentum to move, to move towards what your wish your wishes are, but it's been a slow process because of Pluto and we've got justice. Some of you are maybe even divorcing, going through divorce. Now, this is Libra. Whatever's going on now in the uh, as the sun is transiting through Libra, which is squaring you. I mean, the sun, Mars is there, Mercury is retrograding there. You are being pushed for changes, changes, very fundamental changes. You feel as though the world is against you. You're in opposition to everyone and everything. But I want you to know that spirit has your back and you've got the power. Mars is really triggering you for that change in your life. Whatever that change is for you and the changes can be multiple, on multiple levels. Why do we have the strength card? at the uh, foundation and in the uh, distant past. We've got temperance again. Wow. Now, you could be dealing with someone that is at a physical distance, someone that's from a different religion, different upbringing, different beliefs. And uh, you've been wanting to take this journey. Someone's grown old in uh, waiting. They've turned grey, just letting you know. They've turned grey in way. I feel that now you can flip the energies and I'm getting the goosebumps as I say this. Someone really has turned grey. They've gone from being very, and I feel it's the divine masculine. They've turned grey from worry or waiting. This could be a 10-year, 13-year situation for others of you. Let's look at the hermit. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles, which logically is your, it's your um, energy here. Queen of Pentacles can also be a Virgo um, person that you're dealing with. Queen of Pentacles is very motherly, very stable earth, right? She's a mother. She's very nurturing and loving and uh, sacrificing for her offspring, her children, her family, she's like the half of the home. She's the minor arcana of the empress, everyone. Let's look at that Ten of Pentacles. We've got lots of worries concerning an ending, Nine of Swords. Lots of stress and anxiety, as I said, Uranus through Taurus, connecting to Virgo, maybe the Virgo season. Recently, you've had a lot of sleepless nights. You've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. You're almost at the end. You've got a couple of nines. Let's look at that three of pentacles. And we've got the six of cups. So it is concerning either your children, 
or your children could be the third um, situation here where you're maybe you've been putting family or your children or your finances before what it is that you love, who it is that you love. Six of Cups is a soulmate connection. Let's look at that Eight of Cups. And we've got the Two of Cups, everyone. Wow, dear Capricorn. Wow. There is an agreement. Wherever you're heading to, there'll be a meeting. And this could be a physical meeting. Finally. Wow. Let's look at that Seven of Wands. And you could also be dealing with someone who's got strong water in their chart. Someone who lives close to water. If you are dealing with a Virgo, remember that uh, Virgo right across has got Pisces. Um, now, I'm going to say also, dear Capricorn, let's uh, mention also Cancer, because we did have the Chariot and um, across from you, which could be a karmic uh, relationship. Now, karmic relationships is something that's, that is uh, full of lessons. Um, Remember that opposite you, um, usually the sign opposite from us. So for you, it's cancer. Um, whatever you're missing, they have. And whatever they have, you're missing. So two, uh, we're talking about um, two signs that are in opposition, but they attract as well. So uh, differences. And I'm going to mention, because we've already mentioned cancer and Capricorn, this could also be related to... Uh, difficulties where your home, matters of the past, uh, issues of motherhood and career are, are concerned in someone's goals and what they're aspiring to create in their life. What's that Seven of Wands? We've got the Star card. The Star card is Aquarius, which uh, holds your ruling planet Saturn, dear Capricorn. So this could be really magical. Um as your ruling planet is going to move direct, Jupiter is also there. So this can speak to, from the 18th of October onwards, expect um, movement, movement forward, getting unstuck. And also the star shining, the you know, the card of hope and healing with whatever it is that you've been dealing with, uh, monetary, love matters, and uh, feeling valued or not. The star brings that stardust to your to your um, house of values. So whatever changes, sudden changes will be happening, and you've been pressured for those changes. Therefore, you're up for your highest good. I do see it as a wish fulfillment. Keep keep doing the work. Seven of Wands says you've got the upper hand. Go for what it is that you desire. And uh, that could also be a soulmate connection. If not a, a soulmate connection, then it's an agreement. Remember, ten of uh, eight of cups and the two, that's ten cups. So, are you ready to ask your question? Ask the divine your question. Let's get an angel answer for you. What is beneath the main male, which is a number one? So it's like a new beginning. We've got 16, which is also like the tower, the tower card in the tarot. He's thinking of her. So we've got a divine masculine that's thinking about the divine feminine, thinking of doing something radical, something crazy, taking a journey, sending out that email, that message, doing something radical and unexpected. So for Capricorn, what is the answer, please, Spirit, if you could guide Capricorn? We've got two cards. And we have abundance, and this speaks to emotional and also financial abundance, peaceful resolution. Okay, so abundance, peaceful resolution. I want to read the peaceful resolution. The challenges, the challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. 
Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. That's the sun moving through Libra, everyone. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favour. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitration, and even strife among family or friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. Let's quickly read the abundance card. This could also be a payout for those of you that are going through legalities. Great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not only financial in nature is not always, sorry, financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. Congratulations, dear Capricorn. That is an amazing message for you. And for those of you that this um, message resonated and you want more information, um, as I said, the links are beneath. Thank you for your support. And uh, if not, I will see you next month. Dear Capricorn, wishing you well. Love and light to all of you. Ta-da.